What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to make your own super sharp jig heads for relatively cheap. They are a bit more expensive than just buying a bunch of jig heads in like a 50 or 100 pack, but they are a lot sharper so it is worth it if that's what you're looking for. So all you're going to need for this is a jig hook of your choice. I'm going to be using the Umpqua or however you say that X series jig hook size 6. It's a really thick hook and it's super sharp. And then I'm just going to be using a size 7 split shot weight. If you can, I would try to get a flat jawed split shot weight. It just makes it a lot easier to hide the seam when we're done, because we're going to be pinching this onto the hook. You can use the textured jawed one, but it's a little bit harder to hide the seam when you're done. So we're just going to take one of those weights, and then take one of our hooks here, and you're just going to need pliers. I would try to find pliers that have a flat jaw as well. So we're just going to place the split shot weight into the tip of the pliers and line that up so that when we mash it down it lines up straight instead of crooked. Then we're going to take our hook and put it into the weight. And we want to place that onto the hook so that the entire eye of the hook is exposed. I like to do it so that the eye is just barely exposed and we cover the part of the hook next to the eye. And then we're just going to pinch it down just slightly, just enough to keep it in place. You could use super glue. I wouldn't recommend it if you're going to be powder painting your jig, just because super glue can create some dangerous fumes when it's heated too hot. So now that we've got the weight where we want it, we're going to mash it down the rest of the way. So we're just going to line that weight up in the pliers so that the hook is straight. As you can see, it's crooked there, so I'm going to straighten that. There you go, perfectly straight. And now we're going to mash it down. And there you go. As you can see, it's a really flat surface and that seam is pretty small and we can cover that up with our paint. So I'm just going to mash it down the rest of the way since I'm going to be using an eye on this and I want the smashed section to be bigger so that the eye will cover it perfectly. And there you have it. You have a nice pill shaped head with a very small seam in the weight. You can fish it just like this. You can paint it. You can paint it and put eyes on it. Whatever you want to do. So that's how simple it is. As you can see, this is the finished product. This is after I've painted it and put eyes on it. This is my favorite way to do these. But I really like to prepare these jig heads just because they're a lot sharper than the standard jig. Uh, it has a heavier hook so that you can keep the fish on the hook. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and please consider subscribing.